Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy, the medical education channel for everyone. In today's video, we're going to be covering key things that you need to know about the carcinoembryonic antigen, or CEA, blood test. This is going to include what it is, how it's used, when it's requested, and what the result might mean. But before we get into the main section of the video, as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for weekly medical education videos. So let's start off the video by discussing what CEA is. Well, CEA is a protein that's normally not detected in the blood of a healthy person. Sometimes, when certain types of cancer are present, CEA might be produced by the cancer cells. CEA may then be detected in the blood. For this reason, CEA is often used to monitor patients with cancers of the gastrointestinal or GI tract, such as bowel, also known as colorectal cancer. It may be raised in certain other cancers, such as ovarian and breast cancers, and it can also be raised in benign conditions, such as liver disease and inflammatory bowel disease, so things such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. So now we know a little bit more about what it is, well, how is it used? Well, CEA is generally most useful to monitor treatment of cancer patients. It's used for patients who've had surgery to monitor response to therapy and to monitor whether the disease has recurred. In recent National Institute for Health and Care Excellence Guidelines, or NICE guidelines, published in the UK for the diagnosis and management of bowel cancer, recommendations are that for people who've had potentially curative surgical treatment for non-metastatic colorectal cancer, so bowel cancer that hasn't spread, follow-up should be offered for detection of local recurrence and distant metastases for the first three years. Now, this follow-up should include serum carcinoembryonic antigen, or CA, as well as a CT scan of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis. CEA is used as a marker for bowel cancer in particular, but may be measured where other forms of cancer are present. It has been found to be helpful in monitoring some patients with cancer of the rectum, lung, breast, liver, pancreas, stomach, and ovary. Now, it's important to note that not all cancers produce CEA, and even a level within the given reference range doesn't guarantee that cancer is not present. And it's for this reason that CEA testing is not used for screening the general population. So what might the result mean? Well, the concentration of CEA in the blood doesn't usually accurately reflect tumour size. However, on initial testing, patients with smaller and early stage tumours are generally likely to have a low, if not normal, CEA concentration. Whereas patients with more advanced tumours or tumours that have spread throughout the body, they're generally more likely to have an initially high CEA concentration. When the concentration decreases to normal concentrations after therapy, it most often means that the CEA producing tumour has been removed. A steadily rising CEA result may be the first sign that a cancer has returned and your doctor or physician will look into this appropriately. Increased concentrations of CA can also be caused by some non-cancer related conditions that we've already discussed, things like liver disease and inflammatory bowel disease. And people who smoke generally tend to have higher concentrations in the blood than non-smokers. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found it informative as well as learned something new. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like it, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment in the comment section. I've also included references and extra reading links in the description box below, as well as a disclaimer, since this is a medical education channel and not a clinical advice platform. I therefore can't give individual interpretations of any blood results. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, bye.